The open group soil reference architecture standard provides a common foundation and framework for understanding how to architect and build business solutions using services as a part of a services-oriented architecture. You can think of the soil reference architecture as a complete menu of building blocks for architects, providers, and consumers to pick and choose from as they need for their solution. But we provide guidance on which ones to use and the importance of not overlooking some of the issues that are available to you. ISO is actually using the Open Group Soil Reference Architecture as the base document for their soil reference architecture. The soil reference architecture defines a set of five functional layers that are domain specific that you as a provider can define your specific services, your components that you'll need to implement those services, and how they're going to use your existing operational systems. In addition, it supports exposing your business processes as services as well. The functional layers also support the consumer's access to the services and processes using the services. The reference architecture defines cross-cutting aspects that you can use to develop, enable, integrate, secure, govern, and manage your SOA solution. Each layer and aspect contain a set of technical architectural building blocks, ABBs, that can be instantiated or realized. I can only really speak for my own company, and I know that we in our services organizations use this reference architectures, this reference architecture for SOA in particular, and we've been successful with thousands of customers using this and OSIM as a starting point for them. It's been proven in the field, and it works.